Hi, hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll be looking at an electric lighting shader. Uh, there are actually two versions of it. Both of them are animatable, but one is sort of different and more advanced than the other one. It's basically just taking the uh, basic electric lighting slash lighting shader and uh, turning into uh, a slightly more complex version of it. Uh, and this material is heavily dependent on the um, color. Basically, how you use it, it has to have the color to actually work on it. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, this is how it actually looks yellow. Uh, something like that. So let's just check out the uh, notes. So it's actually a mix shader combined with an emission shader with a strength of 10, or you can actually increase it with a transparent. You actually also need to turn on obviously the alpha clip, then what alpha clip mode, and then the mix shader in the factory. You actually have to have a color ramp. Uh, this much is it, but uh, it's actually dependent. Basic, um, let me show you. If I actually move the slider, it actually starts getting thicker, thicker. And if I actually move it inward, it actually uh, the lighting actually gets thinner. So you know it's actually dependent on you how you want to use it. Use it, and the color ramp is connected to a subtract node, and the subtract node is connected to two Voronoi textures. Both of them are actually the same. Uh, the only difference is one is F2 and one is F1. Everything else is the same. The exponent has to be 0 0.55 and minus 1, 1. And uh, both of them uh, are connected with us. Uh, both of their scales are connected to a value because both of the scale values has to be have to be same. Let me just show you if I actually disconnect this. You see, right now uh, this value is 1.6 and this one scale is value value same. It actually doesn't look like lighting anymore. So both of them has have to have uh, the same value. So that's why adding a value node is smarter because you will only have to change it on one place. And then the mapping node is connected to both of their vectors and the mapping node is connected to a gener uh, texture coordinated generated generated. And obviously to animate it, it's pretty simple. You actually just have to rotate it and add a keyframe using I. You can actually change the location, rotation, whatever you want. So now I'll actually show you this some of its applications. You can actually use it like uh, lightning falling off from the sky. Right now, this is actually this uh, same shader, but the slightly advanced version of it. Uh, and because of the white color, it actually looks like looks like uh, the sky lightning. And to actually to create this scene, you actually just had to add the uh, keyframes using I. And the you, you can also animate the light also if you actually didn't know that the point light is uh, also has keyframes on it and uh, yeah so I'm actually just going to show you the others like this magic blast now because it is purple it uh, it looks like uh, a magic blast you can also actually use it like a prison force field or something like that you know if you actually um, change the uh, add keyframes to its uh, location rotation etc it will actually look like a force field flowing around you can also use it like these electrodes these are actually just spheres two spheres with uh, different colors of the same texture and uh, when I play it you can actually see they look like these electrodes electricity flowing on them so now for the advanced version, this is not the advanced version. This is these two are just basics, basic materials, and uh, they have the modifier on them, displace modifier with a noise texture on them. So now I'm actually going to show you the advanced version of the shader. It's actually just a uh, plane. Let me just show you. So. Let's go into the shader editor now. And, and so this is the same material as the other, but but the only difference is that it's actually connected to a lot of it. So this was our basic shader, this mix shader, and all of the nodes connected to it. This was our basic material, but this time the only difference is that instead of uh, generated, we ex we have it on object, and the uh, material is actually connected to an another mix shader. That mix shader has uh, another transparent shader, and by the way, you actually uh, have to have the alpha uh, blend mode alpha clip to it, and obviously the bloom etc settings. So uh, the the base material, this was our base material, is connected to another mix mix shader. 
and in that mix sh shader is connected to another transparent shader and it, this factory is controlled by a color ramp and if I actually show you it's, this is how we actually make the lightning appear and disappear you have to have add the keyframes over here click the slider and on the position click I and we have a separate XYZ and to map mapping node because I actually wanted it to move on the Z axis and this node is connected and this mix shader node is connected to another mix shader but the difference is instead of having the transparent shader on the lower half like we have in the other two this time the transparent shader is on the upper half it's also connected uh, by a, this mix shader also controlled by a color ramp a separate XYZ node and another mapping node. The applications are pretty much endless as you have seen. It, it depends upon you how you use it. Use it. So uh, you can actually use it like a magical blast or like a prison or you know the electrodes one. So I hope you guys learned something today. Please leave a like on the video, comment and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Goodbye.